Hi friends, welcome to another daily Bitcoin review. Today let's talk about the cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. The Today is a really big day and happened like some crazy stuff and um, this video I'm going to use the technical analysis and really important that you watch this video till the end because uh, we have like really special day today. First of all, I want to begin from the that uh, in our Telegram club, uh, yesterday's dump proved that I was right for a, such a long distance, right? Around three months, I was expecting this kind of dump. And yesterday it just happened. And basically it's like confirms that all the signals which one I gave in my Telegram club was uh, right now are in the profits. So basically our analysis and our trading goes super, super smoothly. So, uh, but this is not the end of this trade. We are still in a dump. And I think, uh, we, not I think, the trading system is telling us that this is the continuation of the crash and there will be more deeper. So in this video, uh, this is really important that you watch this video till the end. If you are interested about my analysis and what's my move next and what I'm thinking about the market because today I'm going to use the technical analysis and show you what's going on in the market and the most important I'll try to keep it as simple as possible that even if you never traded or invested or something like that could understand what is going on in the market so let's go to the charts and let's break down this massive crash yesterday what it happens why it happens and what we are expecting like first of all right what's our next move first of all let's break down this is uh, a b and c uh, C wave has its own levels. Let's take a Fibonacci. Here's the uh, beginning of the wave A, end of the wave A, end of the wave B. So the minimum levels for wave C is uh, 1, 1 1.2. Those are the levels where we are expecting the beer market. So basically we didn't touch that levels. So we are expecting to um, at least touch those levels, right? Wave C is impulsive wave. Let's deep dive straightly inside of that. Uh, I will quickly break down and we will deep dive in more details about what is going on. So here's like wave one, two, three, four, and five. So officially we can say right now that wave four getting finished. First of all, why? Um, let's take a Fibonacci, put on the beginning of the wave three, end of the wave three, and the levels for wave four, four is 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Let's mark that level once again. We are clearly seeing that we was trading over there. Uh, it gave us one more sign that uh, here is a lot of in this zone of high attention, also matched with the strongest resistance in the history of the Bitcoin. It acts as a resistance. We saw some kind of reaction, right? Uh, once we saw that reaction and right now we saw it second time, right? Uh, plus, we are seeing extreme candles, a lot of extreme candles on a daily time frame. And the most important right now, look at this, how beautiful it is that we saw that extreme candle on the weekly time frame, that which volumes has the more than in the previous one, and the sector in the third sector. This is bearish candle and the bearish uh, combination between volumes and uh, tech, uh, and um, uh, candle analysis so basically this candle is super bearish and look at that as it was that uh, as it show us this candle we straightly saw some kind of downtrend right and this is a very really very beautiful so right now why i'm thinking that uh, wave four is uh, this this movement is like kind of end of the wave four. First of all, because um, wave four, we are seeing some kind of mo uh, movements over here. Impulse correction, right? For, for example, here, impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse correction, right? And right now, last, this is impulse, uh, went in a zone of high attention, the strongest resistance, all the uh, um, all the kind of con um, all other conditions is telling us that wave four is finishing. And what happened? We broke we broke this uh, kind of um, impulse. It means what? Uh, if we check the levels, let me try to first break down this last impulse over there. Let me clean the global scenario once again, right over here. And let's deep dive inside of this last impulse. So uh, impulse is always one, two, three, four, and five. This is what was we was expecting, right? But first of all, let me show you that uh, wave C here, the wave four. Uh, I mean, this is wave A, B, and C. Uh, wave C has five impulsive waves. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. And right now, look at this, how beautiful it is, actually, because if we take a Fibonacci, put on the beginning of wave one, end of the wave three, end of the wave four. So we touch exactly 0.6 levels on the fifth wave and we saw some kind of reaction. 
this is super super beautiful uh, the levels by uh, Elliot's waves and my waves selling us the wave five's levels is um, around 0.6 so exactly we touched it like by dollar dollar by dollar we touched that uh, that levels and saw some kind of massive downtrend so basically i can officially say that this impulse finished because there is like a splash of volumes down down right and of course that um this this uh, wave is not correctional because we broke those old levels right if we break down this kind of last squeeze over there uh, this is too deep for correction so basically this is the impulse and on the daily time frame five hour time frame we clearly see that's the crazy amount of volumes on the on the buy bit and if we open the buy bit here we even broke uh here was like a kind of impulse and this correction was even lower than the impulse so this is the confirmation that this is not the correction this is new kind of impulse right now so what kind of impulse and what we are expecting in the previous videos i was talking about and right now let's talk about once again that uh, this way four uh, for my opinion already is finished and right now it begins of wave five which wave five here's the way one two three four and five once again right and if we check the levels for wave five take a fibonacci put on the beginning of the wave one end of the wave three end of the wave four right over here so the level four wave five once again 0.6 is 11,400 around this level we are expecting the Bitcoin as you can see the the wave C's levels and wave five is matched with this zone of high tension right so basically this is a confirmation that we are breaking down everything uh, super super good and uh, uh, and the market follows the Elliott's waves are really really good so uh, we did open the swing shorts first of all i want to mention that uh, each one of you who did open the swing positions and listen to me we are in the profits right now and we are just this is just the beginning but already congratulates you guys because uh you are in the profit so <laughs> who didn't scare it who listened to me <coughs> in the previous videos and this is experimental uh, playlist which i'm making to prove that the you must to trade the, the successful trading is not one trade is the, the trade what you are doing on the distance so uh with this movement last movement which one we had uh, not last movement the dump yesterday which one happened it been proved all all my positions got in profit even the some stuff was in the in the loss and the people was nervous what is going on blah blah, blah. this everything is connected to the patients you need to be a patient here and without the patience and good risk management it is impossible to trade successfully and consistently so uh, this is the main target about this swing trades i'm not uh, i'm not closing of course i will close this one on the 19,500 that's the my first level first take profits right and uh second take profits around $16,000 right and as lower we will go as um, i will try to close the positions over there we will see some more con conditions but for now my first target about this 19,500 that's where i will take profits right uh for now um step by step uh, first i want to see um where the price will stop i don't know it will happen maybe on 25,000 24,000 because right now i'm recording this video in live we are falling right we didn't find this kind of support yet because um, the price is just falling like a crazy right as we will see some kind of price will stop somewhere around 24,000 maybe it will happen 23,000 dollar i don't know somewhere we will find that stop and after that correction we will open some kind of scalp short position because as we will see some kind of confirmation that um we stop the price and we can add some scalp deposits and uh, try to activate our scalp deposit and right now it's getting interesting for me already about the scalp trades because we broke that structure and right now it's giving us some more confirmation that the <clears throat> the trend is changed so basically the twelve thousand dollar that's the where i'm expecting this is main target uh if we touch that levels i can say officially that the bear market i mean the downtrend of this bear market already done and from that that levels we will start to accumulate invest in other project in the cryptocurrency and that's where it's getting interesting again but before that we are trading 
like on the highs i'm not investing any money i don't i did bought the bitcoin around like 16 17 thousand i did invest some money in this uh, in some kind of projects but um right now i'm just to stay away and waiting the price more cheaper prices right and the patients always pay out right uh, in previous videos, uh, the people was asking me about the Ethereum. Can you break down that um, and how to trade and what to do? Uh, Ethereum really looks like right now as as Bitcoin because uh, we can see here clearly A, B, and C uh, C wave. C wave. Uh, let's check the levels for wave C. Put on the beginning of the wave A, end of the wave A, end of the wave B, right over here. The minimum level for um, wave C is 1, 1 1.2. Let's mark that levels over here, right? We can see actually, uh, wait, wait a second. Yeah, like this, let's put, and we can see that we touched the one, but the structure, which one we can, I mean, we can say that wave C finished over here, of course, because we touched the one, but because this wave four or this wave C, I cannot break down by five impulsive waves. That's why I'm still thinking that we are in the wave C. And basically, let me show you what I'm thinking over there. The wave C is impulsive wave. So basically, here's the wave one, two, three, four, and five. Let me explain you why I'm thinking so. Let me clean that, uh, this one. First of all, the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin right now that we are in both, uh, both of these active is in wave four. Uh, let me turn in the coin, in the Binance. Here is the more uh, correct volumes for my opinion over here, yep, like this. And uh, the difference between Ethereum and the Bitcoin right now that we, we are in both, both of us are in the wave four, but uh, wave 4 is wrong correction on the Ethereum. We can see that here clear some kind of the price is squeezing like a triangle or a bear flag or something like that, right? So, uh, and the most important, what can we see here? That the volumes are decreasing and price is rising, right? That is a harmonious market move. And this is one of the confirmation that we are in the wave 4. This is happening almost in every way for divergence between price and volume so we see we see here clearly that the price is rising volumes are decreasing uh, what about the trades i do not trade ethereum and i will explain you why first of all because we are in the wrong correction and to open swing positions is really dangerous for me i think because we if we would check the levels for wave four right now Let's do it like this. We touched at 0.5 levels, but we didn't touch the 0.6 and we didn't go a little bit deeper. And that's what uh, why I don't like to swing trades because the uh, wrong correction and wave four is the most manipulative wave and the most manipulative structure of the wave four. So basically we can very easily can see such kind of movement. Here's like chopping, chopping. Once again, we will go down after once again up. And from that level, we can short the market, like something like that. But also it is possible that we are already finished and right now it's the beginning of the wave five. And most important, most likely, I think that we are in the wave five right now because the Bitcoin also follows the Ethereum. I mean, Ethereum follows the Bitcoin. So I don't think that we can once again touch the 23,000, uh, I mean, $2,300 because it's really like unbelievable looks like right now because everything looks super, super bearish. So um, that's why I don't open. I'm waiting for some uh, main target. Main target is around $400. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, the Ethereum per $400, but this is what tell, uh, telling us the trading system, which are uh, which I'm believing. This is what is consistently brings for me money. And once again, I'm repeating, I'm believing only my trading system. And this is what I'm what I'm trading because my trading system is non-liner um, tools, which one I'm using and the market because it is non-liner. This is what I believe. This is what I know. Uh, and this is what I believe uh, into my trading system. And that's why it works. So uh, basically, that's why I don't not trade actively uh, Ethereum. I'm waiting for main target. It's around like 400 and I will invest in the Ethereum because the, I like the fundamentals of this coin. That's why I will invest in the project. But not now, of course, as we will touch some deeper corrections over like $1,000, like $600 and like, like that, right? 
from dead levels. But to trade, to open some swing positions, I think it's pretty, pretty dangerous, right? But if there will be some kind of trade, I will I will let you know in my Telegram club. You are welcome to enter. Uh, right now, what I want to mention, guys, about the short the Bitcoin. No, of course, you don't open any kind of positions right now. If you did open the swing positions, congratulations. Just wait patiently. We're our first target in 19,500. If you didn't open any position, first wait, let's see where we will find the support after that support we will have some kind of bounce right and from that bounce so you can collect some kind of if you miss the opportunity to short the market from that level so you can short the swing or scalp or whatever you want so basically this is what i'm waiting first i want to we found we find some kind of support and from that support we will open some scalp positions but before that of course we're just falling we don't know where is the support it doesn't look like we found any kind of support right now because we are falling like a stone right and live right now i'm recording and we just are falling uh, it's really good. Uh, of, of course, I want to mention these haters, the people who didn't believe this dump and the people who was telling me that I'm crazy and blah, 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 blah. Here we are. This is the result of my analysis. And guys, yep. Thank you for your profits if you did long the market. And of course, there's a lot of there was a lot of haters who telling me that I'm crazy or something like that because, uh, as I mentioned in my um, Telegram club, I post I make this post that. The people who was like telling me some bad words. This is the people who is paying me right now uh, my trades and <laughs> the people who was long X. Thank you so much for that as well. So if you like my analysis, if you like uh, how I trade, you are welcome to enter first of all in my Telegram club because there I'm giving 24 hours updates about the Bitcoin. If some movement happening, straightly I will post over there. Uh, if you like my analysis, uh, like uh, in a YouTube contact, you are wait, uh, you are welcome to subscribe to my channel, press the likes, put some comments, your opinion, questions, whatever you want, I will answer you. Of course, you can DM me in Telegram club as well if you have any questions, if you want to learn trading or something like that. And yeah, thank you so much and see you tomorrow because I post the videos every single day. Bye-bye.